Happy Thursday, AP Latin students. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, we're going to go through 5.39 of Caesar today. Um, please remember also to uh, um, take your take your quiz there on on LMS. Um, and remember the um, for the vocab section. Um, all you're doing is just typing in the um, definitions. Um, and I do ask that you uh, do that one from memory, but the translation section, you're um, more than welcome to use your book if you want to. So, yeah, you guys are mighty warriors. All right, so this is uh, 5.39, all right? Um, and so, with the um, messengers uh, having been... Um, sent off immediately to the uh, Ketruoni, the Grudii, the Lavaki, the Ple Pleumoxii, uh, <laughs> the Gaidumni, sorry about those, <laughs> who all are under their um, control or their um, authority. They um, assemble uh, as large, um, um, a large, <laughs> as large bands as they are able. Okay, or as uh, your book says, armed forces as large as possible. Okay, so Manus, remember, can be like a band, um, as in like a group of, you know, soldiers and stuff like that. Um, so armed forces as, as large as possible, or arm, an armed, armed bands as large as possible. Um, and uh, unexpectedly, they... Um, rush against the uh, winter quarters of Cicero with the report concerning the death of Titurius not yet um, having been reported to him. Okay? So, um, they get the the Nervii get this group of fellow tribes together, um, and they try to rush against um, this other winter camp uh, of Cicero. Okay, and this is uh, this is the brother of the the famous Cicero. All right, um, who is quite an accomplished military commander here as well, one of Caesar's most trusted um, commanders. All right. Um, so at the beginning there, dimiis nutiis, a uh, nice um, ablative absolute. Um, and then you've got that quam plus the superlative. That's why the um, uh, bands is as large as possible. Okay. Um, and then you got another ablative absolute with fama and perlata. Um, that's ablative absolute as well. Okay. Uh, so also, uh, it happens uh, to this man, or um, to this man also it, it befalls, um, that which was necessary, uh, that several soldiers who had uh, left or who had gone into the woods uh, for the sake of collecting wood and um, fortifications or um, basically materials for building and fortifying. Okay. Um, so that uh, several soldiers who had gone into the woods uh, for, the, for the sake of or for the purpose of um, gathering um, wood and, uh, building materials, um, 
were intercepted or were cut off by the sudden arrival or by the sudden advent of the cavalry. Okay? Um, so you've got that uh, quote clause here. Um, and, and then you've got an oot clause, which is going to be a um, going to be a result clause. They tell you down below, substantive clause of result. Um, so the result of it being necessary um, that they had to do these things. Okay, uh, or excuse me, that they were intercepted. Uh, and then you've got the qui clause, uh, which is a, a clause of of purpose. So the purpose. Uh, what was the purpose for these um, soldiers? They, they had been sent out or had had left to do these do these things. Okay, um, and then the final page there. Um, with these uh, men having been surrounded by a great band, the Eberones. The Nervii, the Aduatuki, and also the um, allies and clients of all these begin to attack the Legion. Okay, so you've got a nice uh, ablet of absolute starting things off. Uh, then you've got that ablative of means with the Magna Manu. Nice alliteration there, too. Um, and uh, then you've got a complementary infinitive begin to attack. All right. Um, oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot to mention uh, earlier, when we have that big, long list, uh, you'll notice there's no joiner um, with all those tribes that he mentioned. Um, that'd be a nice uh, example of ah, syndeton. Okay, which is that lack of conjunction. All right. Um, okay, and then Nostri, our men, swiftly uh, rush to arms. They um, ascend the rampart. Okay, again, this is a nice ascendaton. Kind of gives that feel of um, things all happening uh, really quickly. Um so it's a nice kind of rhetorical effect here. Um, that day, or this day, uh, is uh, sustained badly. Okay? So in other words, it, it doesn't go well for the Roman soldiers. Okay? This day is sustained badly um, because the enemy placed all their hope in speed. And... Um, Having gained this victory, they were confident that uh, they would be victors or that they would be victorious forever. Okay? Um, and you can also translate that um, adepti. They tell you you can translate it um, kind of conditionally. So if, um, if they gained this victory, they were confident that such and such. Um, or you can do the just plain kind of literal, having gained this victory. Um, you've got a nice indirect statement there. They were confident that they would be um, victors. Um, and notice foray, that is that kind of, it's a pretty common form, but it's the um, the future infinitive for se. So make sure you know, uh, recognize that one when you see it. All right. So um, that is 539. As always, if you have any questions or anything, um, feel free to uh, let me know. Um, and for, uh, we won't have anything going on tomorrow, um, for Good Friday, so, um, hope you guys have a, a fabulous weekend. Uh, we'll do 540 for, um, for Monday. Um, also sometime next week, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of, um, site translation, probably in addition, I'll find a, one of the shorter sections, um, and we'll do a site translation kind of in conjunction with that, um just to get some more practice and also um especially with john having that um ap test coming up um it'll be be good to get another um 
practicing for that. Okay, so um, 5.40 for Monday, um, and make sure you remember to take your take your quiz, and I uh, hope you guys have a fabulous weekend um, celebrating the uh, the death and resurrection of, of uh, Christ. So, I love you guys, hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.